morning. It is 1.45 a.m. Yep. And we are heading to the airport. Okay, let's go. Heading picked up in like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Today is the day. We are finally done with rehearsals and we are flying to Baltimore to join the Enchantment of the Seas. We have this giant bus for 12 of us. It's so early. Good morning. Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> we got to the airport around 2 30 in the morning and the check-in desk didn't even open until 4 30 so we decided to all weigh our bags while we waited and see if any of us were over the limit 49 oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh we've got one over a few of us were so we had to rearrange my slides 52. 52. I would say we were delirious from being up so early but Brent is always like this so thankfully we had someone to entertain us this early and also, thankfully, he had enough energy to go see if Duncan was open. Point your front foot! <laughs> so, that was helpful to have a coffee at like 3.30 in the morning. And then we boarded our flight to Baltimore. When we landed, we had to wait 30 minutes for our shuttle, so thankfully we had these two to entertain us. We got to our hotel, dropped our bags off, and then a bunch of us went over to Target to just get those basic things that you need before getting on the ship. Usually you don't have a full day to go and do stuff like we did today. So we're very lucky to have a little bit of time to go to the store, get you know last minute things that we weren't able to fit into our suitcases that we want for the next 12 days. Our first cruise is 12 days. We're gonna be an install, we're gonna be rehearsing every single day. We'll barely be getting off the ship, if at all. I will show you what we got at Target. Some of the things that we find are important to have from the get-go just to feel <laughs> a little bit more prepared for that first cruise. Yeah, let me show you what we got. Okay, so some of the most important things that I got, um, I got my silk pillowcases. I forgot these at home, so I got some new ones. Very important. And then we got a huge <laughs> blanket. Honestly, I just, you need a blanket. It makes your room feel a little bit cozier. I wanted a pink blanket, Robert did not. Um, so we came to a compromise on this dark gray. I also got a pillow. Pillow is very important if you're like me and you can't handle one pillow and the shit pillows are old and flat. And so very important to get a pillow. So I got one of those. And then in here, we put everything in here. I probably shouldn't be taking it out because we just repacked it, but that's okay. I got just some cosmetic things that I need. Dry shampoo, hairspray, we got sunscreen. Oh, we got a laundry bag. This is important because they don't provide these on the ship. So this is something that I feel like a lot of people don't think of right away. A hamper for your laundry. Another thing people might not think of right away, command hooks and magnets. Both very important so that we can hang all of our photos and our lights right away. We don't have to wait till the end of the first cruise to be able to start decorating and making the room feel a little bit more homey. Mouthwash, detergent. I'm not gonna take it out. It's in this huge thing. We got a 72 pack of detergent pods. Clorox wipes. I just got some of the mini to go ones um, just so that when we get into the room, we can disinfect, make it feel really clean. They clean before you get in there, but I like to do a little bit extra. So disinfectant wipes. Okay, sorry, my camera was gonna die, so I had to move it and plug it in over here. Uh, where was I? Disinfectant wipes, very important. Um, body wash, make sure you have, they say to bring 30 days worth of toiletries, so make sure that you have shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Another random thing, hand soap. They don't provide hand soap. And then we also got detergent, not detergent, um, dish soap. Dish soap. <laughs> and a brush cleaner for our water bottles and any of the cups that we have. Poopery, this is important when you're in a tiny little room with other people. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I also got a towel. It's at the bottom of this bag. I'm not gonna take it out, but I did get a towel because I saw it and it was cute and I was like, I need one of those. Robert packed all these bags and I forgot to film it. So then I had to unpack it, 
Now I'm gonna repack it perfectly. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you bitch. No, but I need to do stuff. I need to get deodorant and such. Don't get your nipples in my video. Okay, we are gonna go, I'm gonna repack this <laughs> stuff. Um, okay. I'm gonna repack all of this stuff perfectly and then we're gonna go down to the hotel lobby for dinner. Um, Royal provides a dinner for us or like a stipend for a dinner. And then we're gonna go to bed because I'm literally exhausted. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sign on day. Sign on day. <clears throat> okay, I'm running a little bit late. It's 6.15, breakfast started at six, but we're getting picked up at seven. So we have to run downstairs and grab a little breakfast before we go. <sighs> The last two days have been a whirlwind. I feel very tired and, but excited. Ready to go, ready to board the ship, ready to see it, ready to see everyone. But yeah, let's get out of this hotel room, which I'm actually gonna miss. This bed was so comfortable. Um, and go board the ship. Yay! Yay. I'm tired. We woke up early enough to go and get breakfast at 6.15. Doesn't open until seven. And we get picked up at seven, so. We're gonna make a coffee. Good morning, Don't be, don't be all the same. by the Starbucks cup. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's sign on day! Yeah. There's no breakfast. It's so early. <laughs> Okay, we were all a little upset because we woke up for breakfast and definitely could have slept for 30 more minutes. But thankfully, the shuttles were actually a little bit late, so we did get to eat in the end, and the breakfast at the hotel was really good. So that definitely helped the day go a little bit more smooth. And then it was finally time to go. Uh, we had this driver who kept yelling at us to put the bags in the van. Okay, so the big one, big one, like this, <laughs> like that, like this. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Our bags made it on board, but we got yelled at the entire time when we were trying to put them on. So <laughs> there they are, it's full. But we made it. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey kept going. I'm going away for a while. <laughs> How long is your vacation? I was like, it's not a vacation. <laughs> Anyway, it was a crazy start to the morning, but it was so exciting seeing the ship for the first time. We put all of our luggage on these carts and then we went inside to do a bunch of paperwork stuff. The first thing was medical, so they checked that our certificate was valid, that we had all the correct tests done. And then we moved on to give them our safety certificates. And then we got our room key and ID badges. And then we met up with our stage production manager and he gave us our first look at the ship. He took us to the theater and then we finally got to see our cabins. Hello, I'm in my cabin for the first time. Um, very exciting. It's a hot mess currently because it's small and we have all of our suitcases. We haven't unpacked anything yet, but I'm so excited to finally be in my room. Today has been long already we've seen some of the ship haven't seen the whole thing thankfully we're not doing any rehearsals today um because i don't think i could stay awake for it now i am just cleaning my room i am the type of person that just needs to come in and like wipe everything down really get it clean um so that we can start unpacking and doing all of that it's 3 45 the boys are in their costume fitting right now and then the girls go at 4 45 so i'm gonna try to clean and do some stuff before he gets back Coming up on next week's video, it is opening night of Can't Stop the Rock. I have been violently ill since I got here. We've been in this lifeboat for six hours. Don't get your nipples in my video. 